everything you need to know in order to complete the surrealistic pizza project. Um, the files for the pizza pie and the slice will be on the blog post. You download them and the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up the plain pizza slice and you're going to change the PSI to 300. So it's going to be 300 pixels per square inch and that enables you to be able to print uh, your finished product without it pixelating. Next, you're going to search for surrealistic things to put on your pizza. I picked eyeballs, you're going to pick something else. So when you do your Google image search, click on tools and then on size and pick a large. So when you open up your image, you're going to open the image in a new window. And if there's a little plus icon, click plus and then save the image to your computer. Um, that way you're getting the full resolution image and not just a thumbnail. So you're going to save a collection of surrealistic, improbable things to put on your pizza. And then you're going to open up Photoshop and you're going to open up your pizza slice in Photoshop or your, your whole pizza, whichever one you choose. And you're going to start adding on the toppings. So now I'm opening up my pizza slice, finding it on my computer. There it is, and now I'm going to do File Open and open up one of the eyeball images that I saved. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to um, use the lasso tool in order to cut out the eyeball. So let me just open up a, an eyeball image. I saved a few of them. There we go. And now I'm saving it to my computer from the internet. And now that it's saved, I'm going to open it in Photoshop. And now I'm going to use the lasso tool. You can see I put a little arrow pointing to the lasso tool just to show you what it looks like and I'm going to cut out the eyeball just roughly. I don't have to cut it out exactly. That's the lasso tool. You can see it there. Um, once I've cut it out, I do edit copy. And then I'm going to go to my pizza file and I'm going to do edit paste. And then I'm going to do edit transform scale. And I'm going to change the size of the eyeball to make it look more like the correct size of a topping on a pizza. And once I've changed the size to the correct size, I'm going to hit that check mark on top. And then I'm going to um, hide the layer that has the eyeball in it. And now I'm going to use this nifty tool called the clone stamp. There it is. Click. That's the clone stamp. It looks like a little stamp. And all you have to do is either hit the Alt key on a PC or the Option key on a, on a Mac, and you're going to click the clone stamp on the bottom layer where the pizza is, and it's going to pick up the cheese, and it's going to paint with the cheese of the pizza. Now you can adjust the clone stamp, the size, the fuzziness, exactly like you do any other paintbrush. So once you get those things down, you just hit that option key while hovering it over the cheese and it will paint with the cheese. So now I'm going to go back up to that top layer. I'm unhiding it. I'm going to go back up to that. Uh, right now I'm in the wrong layer. So I'll figure that out in a minute. Okay. I'm going to go back up to the eyeball layer and I'm going to paint with the clone stamp around the edges of the eye and that will create the illusion that the eye is emerging out of the cheese, kind of like it is melted. Um, uh, it's emerging out of the melted cheese. It's melted into the cheese on top of the pizza because I'm actually painting um, by picking up the pixels of the layer below. And that's the magic of the clone stamp. So once I have it convincingly looking like the clone stamp 
um, I'm going to now play around with the blending modes and uh, some of the blending modes will, will look wrong, some of them will look right, but you want it to really look like this eyeball is part of the pizza. So you just click on that drop down um, menu and you just play with the different blending modes until you find one that looks right. So once you've done that, you're going to go and now I'm going to rush through this part. I'm going to cut out another eyeball. In this case, I have that white background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my magic wand tool and I'm just going to magic wand out that white background. And it won't really work unless you unlock the background layer so that it becomes unlock the background so it becomes a layer and then when you magic wand out the the background it'll it'll disappear and then I'm going to use my lasso again cut out my eye copy paste it in and do all those same steps again so I'm pasting it in now I'm going to resize it edit transform scale then I'm going to go to the bottom layer use the clone stamp There we go. Let me scale it down. And then I'm going to hide this layer. I'm going to go to the bottom layer. I'm clicking on my clone stamp. And I'm hitting the option key. And then I'm going back to the layer I just created. And I'm covering the edge of the eye with cheese from the bottom layer. All the pixels from the bottom layer are being deposited on that top layer. It's like I'm painting with another part of the picture. It could be another layer or another section of the picture. Now I'm playing around with the blending modes exactly like I did before. So you're going to continue doing this over and over again. Um, there are other transformation tools you can use. For instance, you can rotate one of the eyeballs um, or you can warp it or deform it. Um, by using the transform tools. Uh, right now I'm playing around with the blending modes, finding one that works to make the eye really look like it's coming out of the pizza. And then I'm going to come back and do a different eyeball. And this eyeball I'm going to cut out and I'm going to do edit, transform, scale, and then in the end I'm going to rotate it. So you don't have to have all the eyeballs facing in the, in the same direction. You can also do edit transform warp or edit transform perspective. There's many different uh, transform tools. You can also flip things horizontal or vertically. Um, so play around with the transformation tools. Uh, right now I'm going to do edit transform rotate and I'm enabling to rotate the eyeball. So it gives a more interesting look like the eyeballs were scattered over the pizza before it was baked. And then I'm going to follow the same process over again with the clone stamp. I skipped over that process because you've already seen it before. But when your image is complete, you're going to do File, Save As. And you're going to save it as a JPEG image before turning it in via Google Classroom. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to create a surrealistic pizza. This is Rachel Winneberg, the Helpful Art Teacher showing you how you can use the clone stamp in order to create surrealistic effects in Photoshop.